Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Glad y'all are tuning in again. This is gonna be an awesome video. I hope y'all like it. Told y'all I was supposed to be getting the Planey Grouper, right? Well, stay tuned because this is the day that it arrived. Today. Hopefully this video will be uploaded the same day. Today is 9-20-23. And we are going to do a feeding on the tanks. And we are going to do an unboxing on the Fellini Grouper. $200 fish. So stay tuned. Don't miss anything. You're really going to want to see this. Let's go ahead and get everyone fed. I've done the water change on the tank yesterday, so it's nice and crystal clear. Water's looking great. I'm gonna keep this thing dosed with no pox. I think it's every 24 hours that way I can get the phosphates down because frozen foods have a lot of phosphates in them. That's what causes all that allergy in there. Let's get right into it. We got the food thawed out. We're gonna get these suckers fed. And let's see if we can get Nala to eat some frozen food. I doubt it. I got some live feeders though, just in case, because she does have to eat. So let's go ahead and drop some food in here. I know everyone else is going to. You see the snap? He's getting more comfortable and comfortable every day. <clears throat> He's loving the surroundings now. <laughs> Not your trigger boy. Blade is something else. He's getting fierce. Peanut right there is getting huge. My porcupine puffer. <laughs> oh, 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 easy, Chunk. Easy. Play nice. There's more where that came from, buddy. There you go. Here. Chunk, you gotta move faster, man. There you go. All right. And I was over there just staring. All of them eat me frozen food. So, we may be putting some in there. All right, now let's do this. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's going crazy. Walter, so I'm gonna go on a hunt. Right, we got, we got that one. Oh, got one back there. Walter's looking for him. I'm gonna go get that little one. Got it. Oh, he missed him. Go get him, Walter. How did you miss? Yeah, you stuck in a bunch of dirt. Golly, that was a bunch of dirt. Get him, Walter. Got him. Got him that time. All right, let's grab a few more. No one don't even know they're in there. She's gonna miss out. She's going right on the bottom. Oh, I think she sees, she sees something. Maybe not. I hope Blade just got him. Sorry about your bad luck, Nala. Oh, did she steal it? I missed it. I missed it. 
Right, let's put some more over here. Oh, one is on the ground. Right there, got him. Put him over there. <laughs> oh, fox face. Oh, <laughs> blade. They're all fighting over it. All right, no whatever's in here. Two of them left. No, no, I thought she saw something. I bet you I could dump some krill in there right now and she'll eat it. I guess I'll put just a teeny bit of krill in here. Let's see if she wants to eat some krill. Oh, never mind. She just got one. She got her a shrimp. Oh, hey, let's go, bud. You good? Back you up. Sorry, you too. All right. Oh. Sorry, y'all. All right. Let's get this thing inside. Fish is finally here. So hope to God it's alive. Uh, back. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Box ain't wet. That's good. All right. Keep y'all's fingers crossed, everyone, please. Please, please, please. Oh, they did package it really good. Little ice packs in here. Little ice packs. It's alive, thank God. All right, we gotta get this thing acclimated quick, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and get in the tank real quick and I'll get a bucket. Don't mind the mess in here. AC guys coming to do the checkup on the AC. All right, we're gonna leave the lights off in the tank right now. I'm gonna sit there for a second. Let me grab a bucket. Got the bucket. All right, let's move some stuff around in here. Not there for now. This here. Let's grab the drip acclimation tube. All right, let me get this set up and we'll be back. Drip acclimation is set up. And that is one beautiful grouper, everyone. So we're gonna give it some time to get some nice new water going there so it can get used to the parameters of my tank with the copper and all in there. And then we will get that beauty inside the tank. So y'all don't go anywhere and don't miss nothing. I'll see y'all shortly. She's ready to go. Let me get a light on in here. I gotta add some water to the tank after we get her in. And uh, let's keep an eye on her, make sure she doesn't get too stressed out. But I think she'll be just fine. I'm rinse my hands off. All right. Come on. And uh, also, please comment down below. Help me figure out a name. Look how pretty that fish is. Let's get her in the tank. There we go. Man, she's pretty. He or she. She's got to find her a place to hide. Oh, over there behind the rock. <laughs> All right, well, she's in. And uh, let me get some water in the tank. We'll come back and we'll do a little update and uh, make sure that she's doing good. We'll feed her later and see if she wants to eat. I'm so happy she's alive. Good gosh. I know y'all are keeping y'all's fingers crossed too. I'll probably sit on the edge of your seat. But anyways, we know she's okay. Let's keep an eye on her. We got her in the tank. It's full of copper. So that way no one here is going to get any parasites. She's not going to transfer anything. Let me get some water in here. It's going to be bubbles. 
Also, big shout out to Reef Beauties. They really know how to package their fish. And my fish got delayed overnight at UPS in Kentucky, and it still made it here live. I really like that place. If anyone wants to order fish, Reef Beauties. They're in California. Check them out. They got really awesome deals, and their shipping is great. It's also free shipping on orders anything over $179. Best place I've ever found to order a fish from as far as the shipping and everything goes because everywhere else wants you to order like $250 or 300 or something dollars. Back to feeding everyone. Right, as soon as I start seeing the food fall to the floor like that, well, they're going after it. They're going to say they're done. A little bit more. So... Reef Beauties is where I order the Pelini grouper from <clears throat> each time. Each time they were super healthy. This one was super healthy too. This one's probably the prettiest one that I've had so far though. I'm up to $600 for one fish because of all the issues that I've had in this tank. With the bacteria and the stupid velvet. Look how pretty that fish is. Good gosh. That is a beautiful fish. Drop some more food in here. It's getting more comfortable. I know if I drop some krill in there, it'll definitely eat, but I don't want to drop any krill in there because that stuff is, it really, really messes up the water chemistry as far as phosphates go. These phosphates cause a lot of daggum algae. <clears throat> Now you can see I'm starting to get up some diatoms here on the bottom of the sand. Groupers over there still interested in some food. I know tomorrow, I guarantee tomorrow, it'll be out and about and comfortable and it'll be out here snatching food just like everyone else. Well, let's go ahead and get Venom fed real quick. Let's grab the tongs and feed him. Watch, watch Venom. Boom! <laughs> He don't play around, son. He said, like, yeah, I know, that's for me. That is for me. Yeah, somebody drop a name in the comments below, please, for that grouper. And for the snapper, we still haven't figured out a name. Oh, look at Blade. All right, I gotta get more shrimp because Blade stole the shrimp from the snapper. Oh, oh, he took it back. He took it back. Oh, intercepted. Oh, and he just swallowed it down. Ha, <laughs> ha, yeah. That was funny. Y'all gotta drop a like. If y'all like that, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Don't forget that too. I'm up to 834, trying to break a thousand. Come on, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Are you already watching the channel? Just click it. I really appreciate all y'all's views, everything y'all done for me. Uh, Mike Loves Life Aquatics. Should be getting his uh, winnings in the next day or two. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all like this feeding and everything and the grouper is so beautiful and it came in healthy. I was so happy. No ammonia burns or anything. And it is already getting comfortable with the tank. So the next one we got to get is the mini Otis back. I need my mini Otis back. If anyone can help me find a mini Otis grouper for a good price, please let me know. Please. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.